It's another blessed day for salvation. We are going to start our Bible studies in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen, sir. Amen, sir. Since three weeks we always discuss about family curse, today we are going to end it. And today will be the end of your problem in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, sir. Amen, you. Amen, man of God. Amen, sir, I believe. Before we will go through, let's check this Bible verse. Brother Paul opened Leviticus chapter 20 verse 9 and Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27 and read it for us. Okay, please, sir. Leviticus 20, 9, For every one that curseth his father or his mother shall be surely put to death. He hath cursed his father or his mother. His blood shall be upon him. Isaiah 10, 27, And it shall come to pass in that day, that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder, and his yoke from off thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Amen. God bless you, brother Paul. Amen, sir. A family curse is a generational problem and can only be solved by warfare prayers, deliverance and through breaking away from sins. This is a common experience in Africa. The force of family problem is a serious stumbling block. A lot of people are confronted by stubborn bondage because of curses issued upon them. That's why it is very hard for many to break long-term curses. The evil pronouncements of a person in a family can negatively affect so many destinies. Ancestral curses are another form of demonic obstacles that prevent successful lending. Many of the problems troubling people today started from their foundation. The mistake of the parents, curses, covenant, polygamous inheritance spirit, generational setbacks, afflictions etc. When a child of God is operating on a curse, he will begin to notice gradual sluggishness, demotion, shame, hunger, debt and later extends to poverty, marital delay, divorce, death sickness etc. The journey of a man can be stopped by a curse. A woman can experience lateness in childbearing due to witchcraft and foundation curses and covenant in the family line. My son are listening to the message well. Yes please mama very well. I now see why all my class Madi pass their exams and go forward but I always go back. No progress in life. It's well my son, the Lord will see us through. Amen mama. Proverbs chapter 20 verse 20 Hoso curseth his father or his mother, his lamp shall be put out in obscure darkness. The symbol of a family is directly rooted to a bloodline. Bloodline is a spirit and has a voice. This means the same blood connects family together. If you happens to have a Jezebel among your family relatives, perhaps a woman who simply hate you and your children, you are bound to experience a mysterious attack. Why? Because both of you share the same inheritance. A particular curse in the family may trigger so many problems in your life. In most families, the curses that is hijacking people's destiny is the curse of thou shall not prosper. Sad to notice the high rate of failures, disappointments, confusions at the edge of breakthrough. Many people are suffering from curses which they know nothing about because the cause of the curses took place a very long time ago in their lineage. As a matter of fact, these curses are the reasons why most people are very far away from their blessing. Lord help me. There are so many people who are hardworking, brilliant, gifted, but today, the enemy has tied down their greatness. Affected people thought that they are moving forward whereas they are being stagnated. It is not because they offended God, or they did one evil thing. Perhaps, the major cause is the evil things our forefathers have done through sacrifices, bloodshed before they died. As a child of God, we need to pray more in order to break the evil effects of these curses in our lives through the blood of Jesus. Do not be afraid. There is still hope for you in Christ as far as your prayer life is not drained away then you will surely be free from slavery. Have you noticed any demonic trace among your own family members? Do you frequently have nightmares? Are the male or female people in your marriage fulfilling their purposes? Has your father, mother, relatives ever laid a curse on you? Are your people still worshipping idols? Are your parents born again or still living together as husband and wife? If no, why? In your polygamous home, are there strange attacks? Are your siblings, relatives happy with your supporting your destiny? No doubts, 
The above questions are provided to make every believer know the root causes of their long-term bondage, unbroken curses and evil family patterns. The fire of God, blood of Jesus and the name of Jesus are enough to scatter one's faulty foundation and repair it. Amen, amen, you. Amen, 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 amen. A tongue that has been poisoned to issue curses to others will one day eat the fruit thereof. Some curses can be reversed while many are not reversible. Some curses can glue to a person forever. This kind of evil pronouncement will keep on hunting the destiny of people. I see why I'm suffering. In that case, for a person to come out from this curse-inflicted bondage, he or she must go for a thorough deliverance. But the good news is that, any strange curses issued against any true child of God will go back to senders, in the name of Jesus. Amen, men of God in Jesus' name. Now the door has opened for questions. Okay sir. Is it necessary to use the Bible verse to pray break family altars? You should pray scripture because it helps you focus on what you are praying. Praying God's word solidifies your relationship with the Lord. In order to incorporate scripture effectively into your prayer life, you have to spend time in its pages. You have to study God's interaction with people in good times and in bad. When we pray scripture, we demonstrate explicitly that Jesus' words are remaining in us. And when we are bearing much fruit through our praying scripture, that is the way that we glorify God the Father, by this my Father is glorified. When we pray scripture, we demonstrate explicitly that Jesus' words are remaining in us. And when we are bearing much fruit through our praying scripture, that is the way that we glorify God the Father, by this my Father is glorified. Bible verses to break or destroy family curses, Psalm 7:16. His mischief shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate. Galatians 5 22 to 23 22 but the fruit of the Spirit is love joy peace long-suffering gentleness goodness faith meanness temperance against such there is no law Colossians 2 14 to 15 blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us which was contrary to us and took it out of the way nailing it to his cross and having spoiled principalities and powers he made a shoe of them openly triumphing over them in it. Galatians 3.13 Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is every one that hongeth on a tree. Nehemiah 4.44 Hear, O our God, for we are despised, and turn their reproach upon their own head, and give them for a prey in the land of captivity. Nehemiah 13, 2 Because they met not the children of Israel with bread and with water, but hired Balaam against them, that he should curse them. Hope it our God turned the curse into a blessing. Curses, be it generational, ancestral, household, marine, they are very dangerous. The above Bible verses should give you the direction on how to break the family curses. Breaking inherited curses is very important for your deliverance. It requires lots of deliverance prayers. If for example, you notice that your family worships idols, waters, and perform other unholy activities then that's the more reason you should go for deliverance. Because failure to address it may leave you with generational bondage and sorrow. I pray, may that not be your portion, in Jesus' name. Amen Amen. In some families, it is very common to see anger, bitterness and prevalent among the women. This is not a God-given attitude, it is an evil inheritance. They inherited it perhaps from their mother to slow them down and shatter their marital hope to pieces. A woman who has anger spirit will keep her from getting married on time let alone a married woman having constant issues with her husband. This is what bloodline curses can do to innocent children. What family curses can do to a person? Curses can make a journey of 10 days to be 100 years. Curses can make a person not to achieve something despite his money. Curses can make a person to work outside the divine plans and purpose. Curses can make a man or woman to marry the wrong person. Curses can influence a person to be attached to the wrong person. Curses can make a person to invest all his money on sickness or other unnecessary things. Generational curses can drag a man backward and spoil his reputation. Curses if frequent can't steal a man's dignity, gift, promotion, willpower and prayer life. Ancestral curses can make a person to be depressed, confused and even go mad. Parental curse especially mother can keep you in the pit of stagnancy limitation and rejection. Curses can make your destiny helper to easily forget about you. Some curses can make a woman not to be fruitful or bear children. 
When a curse is placed upon a person, he make a person to wander aimlessly. If you suspect there is a particular curse in your family, it will introduce the spirit of poverty, hardship, sorrow, marital delay, wasted efforts etc. Some curses can make a woman slash man not to stay with one person. If you come from a polygamous family, foundation inherited curses will force you to share in that same line of polygamous marriage. How many curses that can come upon a man? There are two different kind of curses that can upon a man. We have the following. Divine curse, demonic curse, Deuteronomy 28, 15, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee, and overtake thee. Okay what are demonic curse and divine curse? Divine curse? God hardly curse a man. He is a lovely God. But before he can place a curse on man, there must have been several warnings for the person in order to make correction and amend his ways. Genesis 2 15 to 17. Several Bible text has indicated where God cursed people, country, plant, animal. First, let's look at Adam and Eve. They made a regretful mistake by disobeying God. From there, God placed the curse upon them in their generation. Since then, all people have been under curse, and the only way to find blessing is to turn from sin, trusting in the Lord's promise of salvation Galatians 3 10 to 14. God's curses are eternal, and not any man of God can reverse it except a few anointed prophets that can plead on behalf of the affected person. Constant divine disobedience can force God to curse a man forever. Such person is likely not to be useful in life. Be careful and live righteously. Demonic Curse They are curses from witchcraft powers. They are negative utterances issued to destroy a person's life and destiny. Some demonic curses can come from friends, strangers, relatives, parents and the aim is to render you hopeless in life. If you find yourself experiencing losses, less or no appreciation for every work done you might be operating on the curses. If you live in a house where the foundation is cursed, no matter your efforts, it will certain affects your dreams and destiny and this tells you have inherited the curse of the land. If you are yet to married at the age of 40 years for example you should know that there is a demonic curse in place. So you need to take your time to break the curses and evil covenant that is frustrating your efforts and connections as a child of God. The Bible says, and from the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. Matthew 11 12. How to break out family curses inheritances. How to break out family curses inheritances. Give your life to Christ. Confess your sin and forsake them. No curse will be broken if you continue in sin. Ask for the mercy and forgiveness of God over every ancestral sin. Stand on the word of God in your prayers so that your prayers can be more effective. Renounce all attachment and involvement with any curses. Break all links and contacts with the enemy. For example break evil soul ties and blood covenants properly and thoroughly. Break all the curses associated with the evil dedication. Resist the devil. Refuse to give room to the devil. Refuse to yield to his temptation. Release yourself from all curses standing on your redemption through the blood of Jesus. Galatians 3 13 to 14, Colossians 2 14 to 15. Replace all curses with blessings using Deut 28. Identify the root causes of the problems and deal with it prayerfully. Flee away from fornication and other unholy activities. Plead the blood of Jesus upon your life more often. Go for deliverance if you seems the curses are still active. Another best way to lose yourself from family altars is, sacrifice yourself into God as living sacrifice. Romans chapter 12 verse 1 Quick prayers to break family curses foundational problems stealing away my blessings, be burned to ashes, in the name of Jesus. O Lord, lay your hands of protection upon me and my family, in the name of Jesus. O Lord, close every entrance of the enemies into my life and my family, in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit fire, destroy every evil monitoring gadget put in place to spy me and my family, in the name of Jesus blood of Jesus. Paralyze the link between my family and the family evil strong man, in the name of Jesus. Wind of disgrace and shame, cover them that want to petition me and my family or evil, in the name of Jesus. Every evil secret working against me and my family be exposed and scattered, in the name of Jesus. O Lord, let the troublers of my life and family be troubled and be disgraced, 
In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit fire. Destroy the evil personality hiring evil weapons to fight me and my family. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit fire. Locate and destroy evil power and their weapons hired against my family. In the name of Jesus. O Lord. Ordain your horrible tempest against the oppressors of my destiny and my family. In the name of Jesus. O Lord. Let the hiding places of the enemies of my family be tormented and collapse, in the name of Jesus. Every evil hand and tongue, raised to trouble my peace and my family, paralyze and die, in the name of Jesus. Amen by fire by force. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, Daddy. Amen, man of God. Here is where we end our service. May you go with victory in Jesus' name. My brother, it has been so good that we want to church today. Yes, my man, and I have see why we are struggling in this life. What did you think we should do now, my brother? As man of God said, we have nothing to do because it has already been built before we was born, so all we can do is to repent from all our sins and then pray aggressive prayers. Yes, my brother, you have made a good point here. Sure, enough is enough. It's time we must take our possession. Yes, my brother, let's join hands now and pray together. Dear God, you said in your word that we should ask and it shall be given. I ask that you give me freedom from ancestral yokes and curses today. O oh Lord in heaven, every curse causing financial problems in my life right now, deliver me from such curses now and forever. Restore my financial glory once and for all today in Jesus' name. God my Father, I ask for your grace to overcome all obstacles that might come my way due to ancestral curses and consequences. Lord. I ask for the grace, please and mercy to be able to conquer all principalities and powers that may have laid curses on me and my family before. Wipe out the curses and render them ineffective. The curses of the wicked ones over my family shall not have effect in Jesus' name. My Father and my God, I cannot break family curses by myself, I need your help to be able to break them. Lord come to my rescue and help me to break these curses totally in Jesus' name. They shall have no hold over my children and generation again in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. O oh Lord my Father, I call on you today. You delivered Shadrach, Mshach and Abednego from the burning furnace through your divine intervention. O oh God, I call on you today just like those three men called on you in times past. Answer me speedily and deliver me from the wicked curses that the evil ones might have placed on me and my family. From today onwards, they lose their hold over me and my family. Amen. O oh God in heaven, I ask for your help in my family life. Grant us prosperity and victory over all sicknesses slash diseases. Whatever ancestral curse that the enemy may have laid on my family preventing us from soaring high financially, break them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen in Jesus' mighty name. Every curse issued on my head from my father's house. Die in the name of Jesus. I release myself from the strongholds of my father's house in the name of Jesus any evil soul tie between me and my father break by the fire of the Holy Spirit any evil soul tie between me and my mother break by the fire of the Holy Spirit I release myself from the dedication and covenant between me and serpent in Jesus name I break any ancestral curses and covenant following me about in Jesus name strange hands and legs tying down my foundation receive the fire of judgment in Jesus name I break every covenant I have entered into with a spirit of affliction and sorrow, in the name of Jesus. Family taboos and idols crying against my breakthroughs, break by the blood of Jesus. Great earthquake of God, destroy the ancestral prison holding me captive, in Jesus' name. Amen my brother. With the blood of Jesus, I cut off myself from every evil flow from my foundation, in Jesus' name. Every curse of like father like son and like mother like daughter collective bondage, break and die, in the name of Jesus. Any part of my body handed over to Satan due to evil dedication, I repossess you back, in the name of Jesus. Polygamous witchcraft form my place of birth challenging my destiny, depart from my destiny, in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ break and scatter every curse my parents have placed upon my life, in the name of Jesus. Amen, Amen. Amen, I feel that something has lead me. Hallelujah, I feel the same my brother. When the Son of Man set you free, you are free. You are free indeed. My son, your father grand grandfather die at the age of 52 with heart attack, 
his grandfather the same and the same happened to your father, who just died three years ago. Don't worry my son, I thank God that we have come to know this hidden truth. What kill your father will not kill you my son, over my dead body. No weapon that is formed against me and my family shall prosper, and every tongue slash curse that shall rise against me in judgments I shall condemn. Amen. Have faith my son. This is my heritage as the servant of the Lord and my righteousness is of the Lord. The Lord will disappoint the devices of the crafty against me. Their hands will not be able to perform their wicked enterprises in Jesus' name. The Lord will hide me in his secret place from the pride and plans of the wicked. He will keep me secretly in his pavilion from the strife of tongues. Amen. Now let us stand on our feet to pray, because breaking altars require serious prayers. My head reject every word of misfortune, failure and stagnation in the name of Jesus. I break the power of every negative pronouncement, enchantment, curse, divination, spell and incantation released upon me through evil foundation, in Jesus' name. Lord, turn away the curse afflicting my family into generational blessings, in Jesus' name. I break and scatter every curse of marital delay affecting us in the family, in Jesus' name. I break and loose myself from every collective evil covenant, in the name of Jesus. I command the foundational strongmen attached to my family to die, in the name of Jesus. I release myself from the curse of evil idols of my father's house, in the name of Jesus. Any strange personality in my family working against our destinies, be wasted, in Jesus' name. Blood of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit fire, come in between me, evil dedication and altars, in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, break and destroy every destructive covenant operating in my life, in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ, break and release me from every covenant with idols of my father's house, in the name of Jesus. By the fire of heaven, I break and release me from every covenant with idols of my mother's house, in the name of Jesus. O Lord. Release your acts of fire into my foundation and destroy every evil covenant speaking against me and my family, in the name of Jesus. I break and release myself from every evil covenant my parents have put me, in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. With your acts of fire, Lord Jesus, enter my foundation and set me free, in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ, wash me and my foundation clean and make me whole, in Jesus' name. Foundational curses that want to work against my life and destiny, break and die, in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ, enter my bloodline and release me from evil blood linkage, in the name of Jesus. O Lord, deliver me by fire from every ancestral curses that I have been initiated into in Jesus' name. Anyone among my father's children or my mother's children that my blessings has been given to, retrieve them back to me now in Jesus' name. O Lord. Every curse of hatred and blood shedding in my family are washed by the blood of the Lamb, in Jesus' name. All inherited infirmities and sicknesses in my body due to evil flow, dry up and die, in the name of Jesus. O Lord, let your blood wash away every satanic pronouncement I have made, that is working against my life in Jesus' name. Any family idols still demanding for my worship, I cut you off by the blood of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Family evil altars receiving sacrifices and manipulating my life. Receive fire, burn to ashes, in Jesus' name. Any idol or village river that I have been dedicated to when I was a baby. Release me by fire and die, in the name of Jesus. Altars of generational poverty operating in my lineage. Be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. I break and release myself from every form of inherited poverty and sickness, in Jesus' name. Father. Uproot all curses and their consequences that have been linked to my name and wash it away with your blood in Jesus' name. Amen, my son. I cover my children's life with the blood of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Father, cancel every curse on the head of my children, in Jesus' name. Any curses issued on my children carelessly is declared impotent, in Jesus' name. I separate my children from any evil link I share with my ancestors, in the name of Jesus. I release my children from every ancestral curses from the strange woman, in Jesus' name. Thou power of my father's house. Release the glory of my kids, in Jesus' name. Every link between my children and evil foundation, break, scatter and die, in Jesus' name. I break and scatter any evil curses and covenant working against my children, 
In Jesus' name. Any problem that came into my children's life through my mistakes, you are a liar, die. In the name of Jesus, I declare that my children are free from every curse from my father's house in Jesus' name. 2 Timothy 1, 7 I decree that my children be baptized by the spirit of boldness, to resist every negative fear, in Jesus' name. I withdraw the name of my children from the book of death, in the name of Jesus. My children, you will not answer the call of death, in the name of Jesus. Every witch slash wizard that wants to terminate the lives of my children, be roasted, in the name of Jesus. Any portion in the body of my children that is infected with diseases, be cleansed by the blood of Jesus. Any poison eaten by my children in the dream and reality, be neutralized by the blood of Jesus. The agenda of the enemy concerning my children shall scatter into desolation, in Jesus' name. Yokes holding back the stars of my children, break, in the name of Jesus. I refuse to work against the destiny of my children, in Jesus' name. Blood of Jesus silence any spirit from my foundation troubling their destiny, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you, Mama, for standing with me. I need to stand for you, my son. You are free from this demonic patterns. Today will be your last day of suffering and restoration, my son. Amen, Mama. I'm tired of this. Don't be tired, my son. While God has not tired of us, there is still hope, my son. According to Psalm 510, O Lord, destroy thou them that are plotting against my life. Let them fall by their own counsels, cast them out in the multitude of their transgression, for they have rebelled against God. Dear Father in heaven, I ask that you clear all consequences of sins that might want to take effect on my head in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, I call on you to break every generational curse that might want to have power of me and the events of my life. No generational curse will turn my life upside down in Jesus' name. Dear God, Please protect me and my family from every evil family curse that might want to destroy our lives. Amen. O oh God of all gods, I thank you for the grace I received from you, in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord that has power over all things, glory be to your name, in the name of Jesus. God of mercy, have mercy on me and cover me with the garment of mercy, in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, purify my foundation, in the name of Jesus. Any form of witchcraft practiced deeply rooted in my family, fire of God, push them out, in Jesus' name. Any power assigned to pull me down, swell upon, burst and die, in the name of Jesus. Every serpent in my life determined to waste the destiny of my children due to envy and jealousy, roast, in the name of Jesus. Powers that have vowed to make sure I remain like this, be wasted by fire, in Jesus' name. O God of Elijah, arise in your power. Set me free from strange attacks in my life, in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of affliction fired to my life to waste my time and money, backfire, in the name of Jesus. Any evil personality manipulating my life, confess and run mad, in Jesus' name. My family glory. Hear the word of the Lord, appear by fire, in Jesus' name. Envious witchcraft that causes people not to marry in the family, be dismantled, in Jesus' name. Every evil wind directed at me to scatter what I am gathering, scatter, in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, activate and restore your miracles into my life and family, in the name of Jesus. Let my breakthrough battle my enemies, in the name of Jesus. I command you witches and witchcraft to remove your hands from my case, in Jesus' name. Any witchcraft rat, lizard, cat assigned to shut down my blessings, die by fire, in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost fire destroy the foundation of delay and failure in my life, in Jesus' name. O oh God arise and expose the evil personality waging war against my family, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. It's well for us, my son. It's take a lot of sacrifice to break family curse. I pray God give you grace to stand on your ground in Jesus' name. Please if you have not accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Now is the time for salvation. Kindly pray this prayers with me. Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God, that you died on the cross to rescue me from sin and death and to restore me to the Father. 
I choose now to turn from my sins, my self-centeredness, and every part of my life that does not please you. I choose you. I give myself to you. Amen. God bless you for making this good choice today. Now walk as light of darkness and don't go back to your vomit. Please wait. 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 Don't go show me some love now. If you're blessed with this video kindly do your best to subscribe the channel for more, likes and also share the link to bless others. Do you wish to sow your seed into this ministry? Financial Seeds keeps this ministry going under the cooperate anointing of the Holy Spirit. Some prayers are attached with seed. Continue sowing and you shall end this year well in Jesus' name. Please you can do it only this number Momo or send wave on 0531769689 9 name is Michael Soa. Or send it through this bank account 611101017835 9 GCB Bank and the name is Michael Soa. God bless you for supporting the work of God.